Hey, what's going on guys? Money Making Joey back here doing another Uber video for you guys. And just like always, this is going to be a very interesting video. Now I'm cutting in just about a minute into this video and I wanna kinda go over and break down the video that you guys just saw because this is very interesting. Now, of course, this isn't my video. I wasn't the actual Uber driver here on this, but this is not just some random person. If you've been subscribed to the channel for some time, uh, you guys know in a lot of, um, of my previous videos, I have mentioned that my father actually drives Uber and Lyft as well. Now, he is someone that does it part-time just like myself. The only thing that's just a tad bit different is the fact that he drives Uber and Lyft during overnight hours. That's kind of, you know, what works for him. And I've always told him, you run into some very strange and some very weird people working Uber and Lyft, let's hypothetically say during the hours of uh, 9 p.m. to 4 and 5 in the morning. Some very strange people. Now, this is actually a situation that happened to him. The driver that you guys see in this video is my actual father. This happened some time ago, uh, a little bit over a year ago. I have the date uh, over here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it here at the bottom of the video. It's going to be uh, December 29th of 2022. This actually happened, and I felt that... This was a very important video to make because the video that you guys actually just saw was a insurance scam that these passengers were looking to pull over on the insurance company of Uber because this did happen on a ride via the Uber platform and it wasn't even that late at night. I believe he told me that he had just started his shift. This was somewhere probably around 9, 30, 10 p.m. Uh, he did find it a little bit strange that when he got the ping to pick up these passengers, it was only, I believe, he said like a three or four minute trip. So he accepted the trip and when he arrived at the pickup location, there were three passengers waiting to get into his vehicle. Now, he's not sure if the other vehicle followed him from this current location that he picked these passengers up like i'm gonna play the video and i'm actually gonna put the audio you know on low because uh, my father did do an edit on it now what's interesting is i'm gonna let it play out till it comes back to the passengers uh, and i'm gonna pause it right here now you guys can't see it from this shot but we see a girl in the middle and we have the guy sitting over here uh, directly behind my father. Now, I want to point out to you guys that um, during this whole situation that I'm playing the video for you guys, and you guys can even go back and look at it from the beginning, do me a favor. Keep your eye on this guy's body language the whole time. Like, when I move the video forward, I am going to point out something to you guys. But no matter... The fact that I'm going to point it out to you guys, if you're the driver in this situation, it, it's just a bad luck situation for you because you can't really read this guy's body language sitting behind you. But I remember when I pointed it out to my father and he looked at the video, it's like... Yeah, this 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 guy was was actually sitting there ready for it, but you guys can't see it. Like there's another guy sitting directly behind here, so it's two guys and a woman. The initial person that ordered this Uber ride was a woman, but it's not the woman that's actually in the vehicle, which it makes it a little bit interesting. Uh and I and I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but Long story short, um, the, the incident that played out here when they filed the actual, you know, claim and said that they were hurt, they messed up because they tried to say that it was two females and a guy in the car when that actually was not the case. But going back to my point, keep an eye on this guy's body. Gonna let it play out here just a, a tad bit here. Um, because you don't actually see in the video a car behind them just yet. I believe there's a car that pulls up right now directly behind them because this is initially the car that you see behind them now, though those headlights, that's the car that ran into him at the spot. So they might have been just a tad bit delayed, but keep your eye on his body language because he's waiting, he's looking for it, he knows 
you know, it's about to happen. And they're getting ready to pull up to the drop off location when he just rams them, you know, from behind. And you guys can see in the video, he just took off. Now, um, there was a police investigation behind this when they fully looked at the video. Um, they couldn't read a plate on this vehicle as he came around and drove away, but um, they do believe he had some kind of a temp tag. Um, what's important to note now, what you guys don't see on video, I'm going to leave it here, but you guys already saw the damage that was caused by this accident. Now to tell you what happened after the ride was over and, and I, and this will kind of sum it up for you guys getting into how this was a insurance scam being played out on Uber and Lyft. Now. The passengers, three passengers that were inside of the vehicle, they get out of the vehicle, the lady screaming, you know, she doesn't want an ambulance. She's saying she's not hurt. Everyone seems to be okay. Now, um, it takes, I, I, I'm not sure how long it took them, but it took some time, I guess, you know, for the police to come. They were called, you know, it was put over as a hit and run on a vehicle. Now, what was very interesting is now when the cops came, they, they gave their information since, of course, they were just involved in an accident. And then now, once the report was done by the cop, it was interesting. And my father and the cop kind of sat at the location and found it very strange that even though this location was their drop-off location that you guys are seeing right here, they never went inside of any house. They stayed outside. Once the report was done, they called another Uber. The driver came to pick them up and they left. They never went anywhere, you know, here. And the cop actually pointed that out to my father and they both agreed that that was just a tad bit fishy. Now, um, you guys are going to have to get subscribed to the channel. It's going to be very important because coming up later this week, I'm going to be making a video specifically dedicated to what insurance steps you need to take. And if you've been driving for Uber or considering to drive for Uber, it's going to be very important for you to know this insurance information. So you guys definitely want to check out that video because now Anytime something like this happens on either the Uber or Lyft platform, you never want to have this claim go into your personal insurance that you hold over the vehicle. It gets put through, I believe it's either Allstate or Liberty Mutual that holds the policy for Uber and Lyft. I believe it, it's Liberty Mutual or Allstate. I could be. It's one of the two. But what actually happens now is they take over this claim. One important thing to note is that Anytime you get into an accident while using uh, Uber or Lyft, those insurance companies have a $2,500 deductible to fix your vehicle. So if the damage to your vehicle is under $2,500, it makes absolutely no sense for you to use the uh, insurance company's people to go ahead and get your vehicle fixed. Um, you guys seen the damage done to the vehicle inside of the ending part of the video. Um, I'll go ahead and, and kind of push forward to it a tad bit here so you guys can see it. You guys see, um, essentially the only thing that it needed was a new bumper. And I believe my father paid out uh, about five or six hundred bucks. So it was not a an expensive job. So this is something that he essentially took on the chin and paid out of pocket because the current policies that these rideshare companies hold Uber and Lyft at a $2,500 deductible, you will essentially have to wreck your car fully in order for you to go ahead and say, okay, you know what? I will gladly pay that $2,500 deductible. So that kind of sums up for you guys what actually happened and concerns with the vehicle and the insurance. So that should definitely go ahead and be making some of you guys out there think just a tad bit. Now, when it comes to the, the, the three wonderful degenerates, I'll call them, that put this whole scheme together, decided to go out on one cold night in December and say, hey, you know what? The holidays were a big hit for us. Let's go ahead and try to scam uh, the insurance company. 
they wound up putting in this claim, and I forget, I believe it was Allstate or Liberty Mutual, like I said prior. They put up a big fight, and they included my father in this fight because, you know, they sent people out to, you know, get data from the vehicle and everything else, which I'm going to give you guys a heads up. Should you ever find yourself in any predicament like this, I would definitely say that if you're going to help out Uber and Lyft's uh, insurance company, make sure you get something beneficial out of it due to the fact that you are in an incident, you have a damaged car, you're going to have to pay for it out of pocket due to the fact that the deductible is just outrageous. And then now the insurance company is going to want to turn around to you and say, hey, you know what, can you help us fight this case so that way we can't pay out, you know, these people, we don't have to do it because, you know, my father supplied them with the, the video footage and everything. He completely helped the insurance company get to the point where to say, Hey, you know what? We have enough information against these guys. So that way, you know, we could say that, you know, the proof is there or whatever the case. I don't believe that the lawyers that were representing these three people, because they were all on the same case t together together um i don't believe he found it necessary to push the case like they the odds weren't really in their favor because what essentially wound up happening and it took a couple months but they wound up dropping it and completely not following up on it anymore so you know they wound up not getting a payout but even if they did um, what's important to note is that the overall damage is done and Going back to what I said prior, three degenerates decided to go ahead and get in the vehicle and do this. Um, this is horrible because when you really think about it, what amount of money are these three individuals actually going to get? What are you going to get? $10,000, $15,000 a piece, and it's even going to be less than that when the lawyer takes his 30% out or whatever the case may be. And... They, they're not really in a right state of mind to the point where it's like, do you think about what damage you do to this specific Uber or Lyft driver? Because just for you to make, you know, seven or $10,000 each or whatever the case may be, you put someone in a predicament now where they're out of commission for possibly a week, two weeks, because they can't work because you damaged their vehicle. They have to put all of this extra time into working with Uber and the insurance company. And on top of that, this person is going to have to either pay a crazy deductible, $2,500, or come out of pocket a specific amount of money just, just for, for you to, like, it, it's completely horrible. And this is a scam that I am sure is going on with other people. I'm sure other Uber and Lyft drivers have experienced it, but... If you've experienced something like this, leave it in the comments. And I definitely hope that you're not a driver that has actually experienced this. I actually am making this video with hopes to educate people on what's going on out here, what can potentially happen to you when you're out here. And this is something that I guess you can consider just something that's a part of the business because that's what Uber and Lyft is going to tell you when it all comes down to it because it's really just going to be you, yourself, and that's it out here dealing with these issues when this unfortunate thing occurs to you. So I'm going to leave it here. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys have found value from it and get subscribed to the channel if you haven't done so already. Money Making Joey, I'm out of here and I will see you guys in the next one.